If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and attempt the question on your own before moving on. We're going to go ahead and draw a picture to get the problem started. So here we have the monkey and sled being launched up the ramp with an initial speed of 4 meters per second. They're going to slide up the ramp until they momentarily come to rest. And so they'll have a final velocity of zero. Our job is to figure out the distance that they slide up the ramp. And we're going to go ahead and call that distance s. Now because friction is present between the sled and the ramp, we're going to have to use a special form of the work energy theorem. Now this was an equation that was stated in the chapter. The WNC might be a little confusing. It stands for the non-conservative work, but usually what that means, and definitely in this case, is the work done by friction. Now we know the work done by friction is the friction force multiplied by the distance that the object travels up the ramp and then multiplied by the cosine of an angle. Now, the angle is going to be between the displacement, which is up the ramp, and the frictional force, which points down the ramp. And we can see from that diagram that the angle is going to be 180 degrees. So we're going to plug in 180 there. We also need to remember that the kinetic frictional force is equal to the coefficient of kinetic friction times the normal force. So we need to make that substitution. We'll still have the multiplied by s and also the cosine of 180. We next need to remember that the normal force of an object on a ramp, which sort of points like this way, will be mg times the cosine of the angle, which would be the 20 degrees in this case. So we need to replace the normal force with mg cosine of theta. As for the terms on the right side, we know that at the end of the motion, there's no speed. So the final kinetic energy will drop out. Also, initially, the sled and monkey are located at the bottom of the ramp, so there would be no gravitational potential energy initially. We could replace kinetic energy with 1 half mv squared and potential energy with mgy. Now, we're going to notice something about the y. That's the distance that the sled and monkey are off the bottom of the ramp at the end of their motion. We can see that we could construct a right triangle that we're outlining in red right there. And the sine of that 20 degree angle would equal the opposite side, which would be y, over the hypotenuse. Now the hypotenuse is s. If we multiply both sides of this equation by s, we could see that the y is equal to s times the sine of 20. So we want to make a substitution in for y using s times the sine of 20. Now of course our long term goal is to solve for s, but we can see that s appears on the right side of the equation as well as the left. So we're going to have to gather those s terms to one side of the equation. And to do that, we can subtract this term over to the left side. We could then factor the s out of those two terms. And then finally, since we have the multiplication by this large term in parentheses, we can divide both sides of the equation by that large term in parentheses. If we look carefully at this expression, we'll notice that mass appears in all three terms, so it can essentially divide out and cancel. And then we're finally ready to plug in all the known values. We have the initial speed of 4 meters per second. Theta was the 20 degree angle. Mu k was the coefficient of kinetic friction. And g is 9.8. And when you carefully plug that into your calculator, you should get approximately 1.54 meters for the value of s. And that is indeed how far up the ramp the monkey and sled will slide. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for additional videos. Also, you are welcome to send in your own question to the email address on the screen, and I'll do my best to post a YouTube video solution to it.